हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल टैक ऑन टारगेट दिस वीडियो इज पर्टिकुलरली अबाउट सेटअप ऑफ मॉनिटरिंग ऑन क्यूबिटी क्लस्टर फॉर दैट वी आर यूजिंग प्रोमिथियस ग्रफाना एंड अलर्ट मैनेजर प्रोमिथियस यू नो वेरी वेल इट्स यूज फॉर मॉनिटरिंग पर्पज फॉर एंड इट स्टोर द डेटा इन टाइम सीरीज हेयर वी आर यूजिंग ग्रफाना फॉर dashboard purpose and alert manager to send alerts uh, to the user one thing to notice here we are using the uh, node exporter but we are also using the push gate we are uh, i'm giving you the idea of push gateway not actually implementing it uh, that we can use the push gateway to uh, monitor the short lived jobs actually prometheus work on pull mechanism it pull the matrix after 3 seconds or whatever for 15 seconds whatever you selected or whatever your requirement are but in this period it may be possibility some ports came up or some cron job run how you can monitor that you can easily monitor that with push gateway you have to uh, you have to do some uh, study what or int and you can implement it on your on your project a uh, brief information about our channel we make a uh, tech related content like uh, logging monitoring wazu and uh, there are different uh, content is available of cloud like azure aws so uh, you can watch our channel and for this particular video i am using the blog of devops cube i am giving you the idea what is going on same videos available in hindi language for information if you prefer hindi you can go to my channel and watch the same video in hindi language so each content belongs to devops cube that's the disclaimer from uh, <coughs> prometheus uh, in this video we not much talk too much about prometheus Uh, this is the pre request you should know what is prometheus uh, and how it works our main purpose will remain uh, that we uh, much more focused on configuring it on kubernetes or like i am using today the aks it's not much affect the cloud i'm using because kubernetes basic commands will remain same so there are some metric collection metric endpoint promcule is used in that and Pro prometheus exporter <coughs> so a uh, matrix endpoint uh, like uh, uh, you have the uh, on on your node on your pod whatever you are running they will expose their matrices uh, which have the parameters like uh, cpu and uh, memory disk job pod deployment daemon set each and everything they will place on slash matrix from uh, our prometheus can pull it on its frequent uh, time and uh, we will receive the data and full information and we will make sure no expect is left behind because monitoring help us to uh, future probability we can find we can observe that uh, something is going to be wrong uh, like uh, we can uh, observe that like there is a continuous peak on uh, 75 80 it's going on some particular time so we can plan for that time for that time before uh, getting the or traffic we should have the uh, at least we should have the traffic with us so uh, let's start for uh, today video con confirmation i have already uh, explain you the architecture what we are going to do and 
there is service discovery we will use like ports are very one one or i say they are not stable ports can be deleted and new ports will be come so to discover the services we will use service discovery and uh, configure it everything is provided by the devops queue no need to worry while uh, when you implement it on your prod environment or on your organization you have well idea what things you have to add all the basic setup or the basic necessity to understand the prometheus configuration are given so uh, they have given a a repo link which we have to clone and uh, it consists of different manifest file which will help to configure our first component which is prometheus and uh, let's start configuration uh, earlier i used to pay make video in hindi language i started it because um, more persons understand english hope you like this uh, effort and uh, if you like please provide your uh, feedback on by commenting so we have uh, clone the repo it is a public repo no credits are required uh, we will do cd under it when we do cd i hope there is no font issue fonts are very much clear to you we have config map prometheus ingress prometheus service prometheus deployment yaml cluster role some things are uh, optional some things are mandatory so let's start one by one it's good practice to keep your uh, namespace uh, your resources of same kind in separate uh, separate resources like each and everything which belongs to monitoring uh, they are kept in monitoring namespace we by using namespace we can organize thing in better way we can manage the things in better way we need a cluster role and copy the following r by prod a get list which provision to which endpoint ports ingress to monitoring namespace okay what it is saying that uh, prometheus require some permissions to work upon uh, to work on cluster because uh, prometheus when we if you configure prometheus is just a pod and uh, pod have limited access we sh sh need the access to get list and watch a permission of node service endpoint ports and ingress different stuff we need this permission and uh, you know how we can configure the permission and access and authorization by using rbac rbac is role back access control uh, i think uh, I will make the video on RBAC separately. Uh, API version you can see that uh, if you run the same on uh, on mini cube or simple Kubernetes on self hosted, it will run on that. You can see uh, there are rules of service endpoint ports, and we are giving the permission to get list watch, and uh, it is a cluster role, and then we are using the cluster role binding on prometheus and uh, creating a service account for that okay and uh, if you th see that uh, we are creating on prometheus so uh, uh, which node uh, have the name have the metadata or label uh, prometheus the sir, this role or this service account will attach to that and uh, he will be able to use this access and authorization so what we need to do we 
uh, we have already cloned the repo and uh, repo is consist of this configuration file this cluster role file we just need to kubectl create hyphen app uh, cluster role dot yaml we uh, i think namespace is itself mentioned under that Cube CTL thing. Create okay. Spelling of create was wrong. Uh, I thought that I have done the spelling mistake in Cube CTL. So it's creating. cluster role is created see we have they have given command config map we require we need to make two files prometheus.yaml and prometheus.rules uh, if I explain the uh, config map config map is already available in our channel uh, config map uh, some configurations uh, which we want to remain with the container with the ports uh, if port get deleted when new port gets it has same configuration so we can pass these files as config map and uh, they are independent they will become independent of the port lifecycle and uh, Prometheus YAML, if we talk about specifically on that, it contains the information. Uh, it's a YAML file. It contains the information of Prometheus configuration on which port it is listen, on which port its ports are listen. Uh, if you talk about the service discovery, uh, on what rule we will have the alerts, everything we dis uh, mentioned on that. So same is uh, you can see we uh, we have there. Uh, we are passing uh, it by data. First file is the Prometheus rule file. Prometheus rule file uh, in that particular file we are just uh, giving a rule single. They are just giving a single rule uh, for high port memory some container memory. So whenever the container memory uses uh, increase, we have a slack alert on slack. Uh, for and it will observe for one minute, then it will send uh, high memory uses alert on slack. Then second file is got started Prometheus.yaml and uh, we have this scrap interval here of five seconds like uh, it's simple meaning that after five seconds prometheus will pull matrix again it will uh, not pull the matrix in between that five seconds alert manager address is given there alert manager dot monitoring dot svc uh, alert manager is the port monitoring i think is the namespace and service uh, port is 9093 scrap configuration it's giving uh, it will helps to make the service discovery uh, then relatable configs job name cube disports like we have to uh, monitor each and everything so cube state matrices service endpoint everything we are describing under the service endpoint and let's uh, configure this and uh, when we create our port for and we will map on that first we created our cluster role now we are creating the uh, config map for rules and prometheus.yaml uh, uh, one thing 
um, like you uh, for alerts we will talk uh, in uh, alerts manager when we configure the element manager we will we see how we can configure the slack and email notification so we have created the config map uh, we can validate that and uh, moreover we can move to next part because video is going to be very long it is saying that uh, content all the configuration will discover the ports and services running cluster dynamically we don't have any dependency of uh, mentioning entering thing manually api server nodes ports io api services everything they are covered so nothing is left behind nothing uh, is missing now we are ready with the dependencies and we can create our prometheus deployment deployment is an object of kubernetes which create replica set and give us the functionality uh, to roll web and much uh, it's creating the replica one label giving prometheus server monitoring giving the means of monitoring template and uh, we have this spec container and uh, in this spec you can see image from prometheus is given and we are uh, passing the arguments and uh, under port we have given the ports of our prometheus i think you know very well the ports containers uh, prometheus port same we will give here uh, they are also uh, defining the resource quota for cpu and memory and uh, mounting the volume they are mounting the two volume that's prometheus config uh, in slash it is slash prometheus and uh, prometheus storage volume uh, path is the slash prometheus they are uh, mounting the two volume so under that they are prometheus config volume config map uh, default mode is 420 uh, giving the permission name prometheus and uh, they are uh, giving the local storage because we are not using okay uh, we can create the deployment now uh, we have understand what the our deployment is doing i hope uh, you are very much comf comfortable with that so it's now creating cube ctl mm, we can validating it our deploy is uh, deployment is done or not we just uh, have to run the command cube get deploy or deployment uh, let me correct the spelling and now we are ready with our deployment and you can see one by one means uh, our storage is created config map is okay and our cluster role may be okay i'm not sure with that we will check later on for that and uh, one thing uh, by port forwarding we can validate it but uh, my per focus is on making it service because we should make uh, the service for our uh, our our uh, ports because without service they are not able to talk so cube ctl yeah that is the manifest for the services and it creating a service which will listen on port 30000 service that prometheus service .yml. it's got downloaded via repo which we have cloned we can see the content over here uh, service metadata prometheus service names faces monitoring annotation prometheus i use a grab prometheus i use port 9090 and uh, 
will work on Prometheus server. Uh, it's selector we have done uh, is implemented on that, and uh, on Nodeboard board it will listen on three thousand. So. We are now create. We can create the port forwarding. Sorry, we can create the services for Prometheus. Get SVC. We can check it via SVC, and we must pass namespace with that. Hyphen and monitoring. Uh, you can see that uh, we have a Prometheus server and uh, which have the service type node port with cluster IP. Uh, there is no external IP assigned when we use node port. In AKS, uh, and uh, if we see, now uh, we have done with the first component. The second component is the cube state matrices, because. Uh, Cube state matrix is uh, same like a port, a serve port, which provides the service, which deal with the Kubernetes and uh, like deployments, port, jobs, cron. This stuff, the Kubernetes API objects, mainly Kubernetes object, we can't monitor directly. So for that, we need this cube state matrices services. Uh, to be deployed on our infra it will uh, got all the information for from the uh, cluster and expose it on uh, and expose it from where uh, Q from with this can scrap this and show us so it will also uh, in in its port it will also make the matrices exposed on slash matrices from where uh, we can uh, this you can see that node status node capacity memory and uh, replica set uh, that's uh, and uh, how we can set up that we need cluster role cluster binding deployment and service so we need to clone the repository for that if we go inside that cube state matrices uh, we have the cluster role, cluster role binding, deployment, service account, service demo. Everything is uh, we have there. Ingress is not present. Uh, we have not configured Ingress in Prometheus because uh, uh, in this time when we are just learning, I don't want to go uh, in the Ingress part. It's an optional part. We can expose by uh, no, uh, using load balancer and. Uh, we don't go much in the detail for the cube state matrices. We just apply. Uh, it's all deployment file in once, and uh, check. Uh, it is saying that uh, you need to mention this on uh, your Prometheus uh, that uh, you have to go to Prom uh, cube state matrices as uh, on service discovery port but we don't need that because we are following the if you are following the uh, the old if you fall create prometheus by using the old repo you already have this so no need to worry about that and uh, it's the uh, cluster role which giving the config secrets node services resources each and everything is covered in I think most of thing maybe is something is maybe left I don't have idea if left you can uh, message me then we can both check what we can do 
to monitor it properly that's the cluster rule binding uh, with the role which we have created we want it to associate on cube state uh, we want to bind it on cube state matrices then we have deployment uh, which is using these labels and uh, cube disk we are creating this on a uh, cube system uh, it's something like uh, the service related uh, the things which uh, it going to deal with are in part of the kubernetes config so it will also be created there other things we all uh, created on the monitoring namespace but this particular things we have to create on cube uh, cube system so i think we can create here and uh, service you can see oh, i think we have all i have explained all these things and uh, now we can create uh, these service uh, create the deployment for cube system that is the service account which got uh, created on cube state matrices because it is dealing with the system you have to give more privileges to it last service has to be matrix 8080 telemetry 8081 uh, it's just using the cluster ip for communication to make communication with others and uh, now we have uh, understand or we have what we i can say we have uh, expo uh, taken the exposure of all the manifest file uh, and we are very much we have the very much clarity what is config file doing here what is uh, cube state matrices doing in our setup cube state matrix is very critical or crucial component for our set so our cube state matrices is, is deployed everything is deployed created, created so without ever we have deployed it and uh, get deployment cube hyphen n cube system we can validate it our deployment is get succeeded or not one you have seen that one error is uh, warning it is giving that all the plugin is deprecated use cube login so uh, maybe next time when we are making video we are using the cube login because uh, azure have uh, given may mention it as a deprecated so uh, two component done third we are Oh, we will configure Grafana. Procedure is very much same uh, in the Kubernetes. We need deployment or daemon set if required, or else we will work with uh, service. Service is important and uh, deployment is important. If something uh, making some data and we need to store then we use creating the volumes and if configuration we are need to create we are creating the config map so let's create uh, clone the repo for grafana we are uh, configuring the alert manager okay let's configure the alert manager first and then in the last we will configure the grafana and after 
implemented we can see, uh, we have the graphical view for clear understanding if something is not understandable that's the alert manager file uh, that's the config file uh, which have the config.yml that is receiver property receiver slack oh uh, you can mention your slack ap uh, slack webhook here and uh, you can mention your email note email and uh, and machine code here if you go to settings of your uh, mail you can generate the third party access code from here otherwise if you are try with your password it will not work you need to generate the third party uh, access code or third party access token for that is very easy uh, if you feel some issue in that you can comment out and uh, you will i will uh, give you the clear cut idea how we are, uh, how we can do that and slack webhook uh, url creation is very much straightforward it's nothing more than that you can just follow a simple link and uh, you are good to go uh, with that so first we create the config alert manager configuration config map and uh, then i think we have a template uh, alert manager template config we also if you see that what is that This is the alert template uh, like uh, you have given your slack and uh, what message will go on to you there are some uh, rules or some set of settings is available here which will work upon that and you will get your alerts in a decent format or in a good format understandable format that's our deployment container is alert manager app port is 9093 cpu port is uh, we have given the resource quota here and uh, given our image we are using the uh, public image from uh, i am not using any uh, they are not using any image of their public image or uh, their private image uh, all images are public so I don't think you will feel any problem while implement this blog. Uh, but they are uh, mounting the vol uh, volume and uh, config which we have uh, config map which we have created. So we are done with the uh, deployment part and uh, three one thirty one thousand on thirty one thousand. It creating its node port services each and every time you need to create these services uh, if you uh, same files is available here what you are seeing on website and uh, we can explore it uh, if someone from devs go is uh, watching this video my request is that if you have any issue uh, um, but make if I am making this video on your content, so you can please uh, my email is mentioned on my YouTube channel, or you can directly comment out. I will delete this video. Uh, else, thank you for your cooperation. Kubernetes Grafana, we are here with the Kubernetes Grafana. Uh, Grafana is very popular. Uh, it is used for visualization. It's known for its visualization. Very uh, beautiful graphs. How we can create 
Grafana, Grafana dashboards. I have made it that video. Um, yeah. And uh, if you want to see how we can do logging by using Logki Grafana setup, you can also watch that and uh, hope you will enjoy that video also. That was on bare metal, not on Kubernetes cluster. And uh, it's also creating config map, uh, passing it configuration uh, on Prometheus store. YAML. It's creating a Prometheus store YAML file. Okay. In that uh, Prometheus service endpoint is mentioned. Okay. Name is Grafana. Is this monitoring? And uh, we will create that uh, config map. Then we have the deployment uh, API version V1 kind 3 and uh, latest 3000. Specs we are using the Grafana image giving it support and oh, it's similar like we created the earlier deployments and we are ready with the deployment of and then we have this service. Uh, that's the mandatory part if you uh, using the ingress it will also work on service you have uh, so service is the part you can't uh, can't ignore you can not ignore that part you have to, to create services so kubectl get svc hyphen and monitoring okay Alert Manager, Grafana, Prometheus, three services we are having. But do you think anything is missing? Kubernetes, uh, like uh, Kubernetes uh, API slash object deployment services we are monitoring. But are we monitoring the basic Linux property? Uh, we are not monitoring that. Uh, that is showing the memory usage and CPU utilization. Actually, uh, I'm using the AKS, but uh, while using uh, AKS, we have some issues. There are very free tire uh, there are uh, there are lots of free tire limitation are there we can't create uh, uh, more than four code cpu in one reason so we face that issue and we i'm checking that uh, our utilization not cross that much so uh, if your resources are exhausted your uh, deployment will not work and your application got crashed so be aware of that use uh, the cluster under your uh, free tire limit because in aws you can go beyond the free tire limit but it's not same with the azure that's i found uh, something wrong with azure for the person who is learning it will uh, decrease your speed of learning in azure that's main thing I don't like about Azure 
and I like this thing and thankful to AWS for giving the uh, giving their resources for our learning and I, I request uh, if you can follow my request to Ajo please remove this particular limitation of four core CPU in one reason uh, at least eight to ten core CPU please provide because uh, some application we will trying uh, to deploy it will not work and uh, if I am for learning purpose I am spending much money it's not good for my financial health so I can only request otherwise uh, so uh, I am talking about the node exporter node exporter was uh, our main agent for the uh, Prometheus widely used with the Prometheus it will uh, expose its uh, all matrices and uh, Kubernetes will go uh, on upon their scrap time and uh, go there. It's uh, not using the deployment, it's using the daemon set. So daemon set, what we, it does, uh, it does like daemon set, when we create daemon set on Kubernetes cluster, it have the permissions to uh, to access the all the API of the all of all the resources and uh, gather information at one place uh, it will uh, gather the information from uh, uh, nodes of the Kubernetes cluster and uh, save is information like uh, CPU memory disk size file system there are many matrices and export is on slash matrix uh, if I uh, if we know about how we do logging in EFK same we will do the with EFK we will give a demon set create a demon set of EFK and uh, do our logging on there uh, we will create video on that once we mm, once I think uh, we will make I will try to make a video on that nine one double zero is the default port uh, for our Q, uh, Prometheus node exporter and that is the daemon set file uh, it is have the selector and template using the image Prometheus node exporter and ports are getting open reverse quota uh, in the template labels are given and specs arguments are passed uh, 250 volumes mounting the volumes slash host is slash host root true path is slash sys and slash let's create the daemon set i will try to make a separate video on daemon set where i will try to completely describe it set hyphen monitoring okay it's creating service for that like uh, we have created a service uh, for other instances other sorry not instances for other ports other our component we are ready so uh, we have prometheus cube state matrices uh, alert manager grafana now we also have node exporter five component we have deployed on our kubernetes cluster which help us 
lot to understand to gain our understanding uh, i hope uh, you also enjoying this video and uh, i hope you are also learning uh, from that getting a learning from that uh, and it will be helpful to you in your project when you uh, do monitoring on that it is saying that we have to add this in uh, prometheus but uh, we are following this uh, tutorial from beginning we have uh, we, this configuration is already present in our uh, prometheus config map file so we don't need to add uh, and you will see uh, the storage system d my hardware miscellaneous system d process this api are particularly uh, coming from this part node exporter part and uh, daemon set and uh, services deployments replica set they are coming from the uh, kubernetes uh, api matrices so um, all setups is done and uh, now it's time for the result but before going uh, ahead i will like to inform you like if you are uh, configuring this on your prod environment you should use the prometheus x uh, operator uh, it's very well uh, managed it is our deployment which we have created is not highly available it is not highly available set up to uh, because we don't want to monitoring to get stopped because uh, if you not get alerts on time uh, our services can't be stable can't be reliable we should get alerts on time so that we can save our infra from any uh, miss happening or any and we can uh, give our customer a good experience so if you are uh, just for learning purpose you first deploy through this link and once you done and uh, you are good with your understanding your concept are very clear how prometheus and other stuffs are uh, working you uh, go with the cube uh, pro operator prometheus operator that's suggestion and from my side and from devops cube is also and this is not a paid product a paid promotion of the devops cube i'm just i found this link very interesting very meaningful very information full and uh, i hope you will get benefit from that so alert manager is pending and grafana is pending i think resources are get get exhausted because i have deployed some more things on my cluster and it's just a four core worker nodes else we will wait for some time uh, maybe manager is not for node exporter is cluster ip and uh, that's are their ports which we have uh, entered in our cube system file it's not the cpu it's the memory memory utilization is very high 
you can see that 75% 0.09% okay meanwhile it's get created uh, now we can enjoy uh, we have done a one part or four deployment you can see on screen expose them uh, or to use it we need to we need it services and uh, we need to make the what we need grafana component and uh, grafana component we need to change its services to load balance so that we can access it from web Grafana is our main uh, and respect it is not port ports are 132,000 okay edit it for load balancer CTL apply hyphen app service dot ml uh, okay it's configured if you remember we are uh, uh, creating the manifest uh, ports ports for manifest file by using the kubectl create command but uh, you can't create uh, you can't use create for uh, updation purpose you need to you have to use this service and uh, you can see that load balancer is giving us the IP using this IP we can access the uh, Grafana let me copy it and uh, oh, one enter with its port take some time to load memory utilization is very high uh, that's why it's taking time admin it's asked me to you to change the password you can change or keep it as same and skip this step uh, default username bar password is admin and admin uh, we will configure our uh, Prometheus data server data source to configure that this too okay uh, we need its uh, cluster IP that's Prometheus its IP and its port it 
let's paste it over giving us error 30,000 I don't think 30,000 we need to use let's check what I have done I have add the HDBB uh, we just work with the 30,000 and uh, no need to work with 30,000 just 8000 but you have to add HTTP over there if you are using HTTPS then you can mention that now everything is we have we need to uh, create dashboard we can export the already built uh, already built dashboard from grafana uh, we can create it manually if you want to create it manually you can watch my older videos and uh, for this particular how we can uh, we can get this dashboard by two ways via its json or via its id so you uh, using the id method is very simple uh, 6417 is the id for that this particular we will uh, click on now i think now you are seeing the new option and uh, in the new we will do the import and in the import we will select and we will go below and uh, select our data source and import it so graph is getting loaded it's not looking much cool uh, we have now what number of nodes to okay ports running container running port pending is zero there are system ports and container and uh, some of them are just we have created if this graph is not good uh, let's search for other graph other dashboard copies id and uh, browse dashboard yeah discard it new import select the data source and uh, let's wait for API to respond and we will get our result maybe it will take some time Okay. 
now it's showing the result uh, it looks very cool uh, cpu utilization mm, cluster cpu usage and uh, cluster file system usage 6 gb of memory we have and uh, total we are uh, we have using 6 gb and total we have 11 point something and cpu quota of core usage and memory usage it looks very cool so thank you for uh, watching this video i hope you like and uh,